Charlotte, asking you to marry me was one of the easiest decisions I've ever had to make. It wasn't a matter of if, but when. From the moment we met, we clicked, and I found myself wanting to spend more and more time with you. And before I knew it, I was falling in love. Luckily for me, you did too. And it's that love I promise to protect, nurture and hold on to, because without it, I'm only half the man compared to when I am with you. Make me the best version of myself. I'm done. Let me say the dotted <laughs> Ben, I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to love you, encourage you, trust you and respect you. As a family, I promise to create a home filled with laughter, love and happiness. To share with you all of life's adventures and joys, I promise to love and care for you and Arla with love and patience for the rest of my life. Today I give you my hand, my heart, my love from this day forward for as long as we both shall live. Maybe we are supposed to meet the wrong people before we meet the right one. So when they finally arrive, we are truly grateful for the gift that we have been given. Maybe it's true that we don't know what we have lost until we lose it. But it is also true that we don't know what we're missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't have the best of everything, but make the best of everything that comes their way. Maybe the best kind of love is the kind where you sit on the sofa together not saying a word and walk away feeling like it was the best conversation you ever had. Maybe once in a lifetime you find someone who not only touches your heart, but also your soul. Someone who loves you for who you are and not what you could be. Maybe the art of true love is not about finding the perfect person, but about seeing an imperfect person perfectly. Before I announce them, you may want to seal your bond with a kiss. <laughs> well, on behalf of my new wife and I, first and foremost, we just want to say a massive thank you to everyone here today especially those who've travelled such great distances or taken so many uncomfortable and expensive Covid tests to be here. And it means the world to both me and Charlotte to, have, to share this day with such our close family and friends and that, you know, we're forever grateful. So thank you to everyone here. So bringing the attention back to today, there is one thing I'd like to clear up. I'd like this giving away thing cleared up. It needs to be clarified a little bit more. I'm not giving her away. The cost of the wedding is not a giveaway. The cost of the education is not a giveaway. Then there's shoes, clothes, holidays, travel, gap years, car, flat, the list goes on. Let me tell you, it's not a giveaway. She goes with our blessing. Cheers, Ben.
I didn't think you could look any more beautiful than you did today, but how you've proved me wrong. The dress, the makeup, the hair, the aura. You know, I feel privileged to be able to call you my wife again, but this time in front of all our friends and family. Of course, you're beautiful, you're stunning, you're kind, generous, thoughtful. You're my best friend, my partner in crime, you're the mother to my child. I could go into more detail about the fact that you're overly tidy and put up with me leaving bottle tops on the kitchen counter, just. But when I took the time to think about the things that matter the most, it occurred to me that it's the time I spend with you is effortless. And amongst all the attractive qualities you have, it was really this that drew me to you and keeps me content, happy, and made marrying you the easiest decision I've ever had to make. I'm excited to see where life takes us, and I'm fearless looking forward knowing that I have you by my side. So on that note, can you all, sorry, can you all raise a glass to Charlotte?